The second speaker is Dr. Xing Rongho. He is currently a research fellow at Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, JSPS, Institute of Multidisciplinary Research for Advanced Materials, Tohoku University, Japan. He obtained his PhD degree from the Graduate School of Environmental Studies of the same university. Earlier than this, he did his bachelor and a master's program in the Department of Resources Engineering, National Chenggong University, Taiwan. His research interest is on carbon capture and utilization, more specifically using cement and concrete wastes to capture CO2. He has published around 10 journal papers in tier one journals and filed three patents. In 2021, she, uh, he received the National the Research Fellowship for Young Scientists from JSPS. We look forward to his presentation on innovative CO2 utilization via mineral carbonation of alkaline waste. Hello, everyone. I'm Xin Zhong Ho. I am postdoctoral research fellow granted by JSPS working in Tokyo University in Japan. And it's my pleasure to attend this summit. And my research topic is carbon capture and utilization while mineral carbonation of alkaline waste without CO2 purification and pressurization. Okay, so here goes to the introduction part. Uh, global warming is one of the most urgent environmental issues in this century. CO2 emission is one of the main factors causing this issue. So to mitigate and alleviate the global, change, uh, global climate change, Paris Agreement is ratified in 2015. It is one of the most biggest agreement for CO2 emission reduction. It's that led, holding the increase in the global average temperature to well below two degrees Celsius, preferably to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. Besides carbon neutralization, which is equivalent of net zero emission, is the main strategy to remain compliant with the Paris Agreement. Several countries and union like USA, Japan, and EU have progressed toward this goal by 2050. And carbon capture and utilization is the concept of the utilization of CO2 as feedstock in various applications. And it is regarded as promising technology contributing to CO2 emission reduction issue. Advantage the potential of economic income, social acceptance, and many applications and process can be utilized. And in my research, I study mineral carbonation. In mineral carbonation, alkaline rock or wave containing calcium and magnesium will react with CO2 to form carbonate, which is calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. The advantage of mineral carbonation are that it is spontaneous reaction. As the left-hand figure shown, the change of gas-free energy is over zero when CO2 most of materials, which indicates that the high energy input is required. However, in mineral carbonation, the change of gas free energy is negative, which means reaction is spontaneous reaction and means that the reaction is possible to develop using fluid gas without CO2 purification and pressurization. And second advantage is stable product. Carbonated product compared with other CCU technology application is more stable. And third is it has relatively huge potential. Compared with other application products, the market size of calcium carbonate uh, is huge. Therefore, this process is not limited to market demand. Hence, it is possible to develop CCU without CO2 purification and pressurization, which is costly and high energy input while mineral carbonation. Here, this, uh, this technology still has some research gap and the main research gap is slow reaction speed. So we would like to investigate 
to enhance the reaction with less power consumption. And the concept figure in this research, the exhaust gas and generated solid waste from industry are used as raw material in mineral carbonation technology to form a carbonated product. And the CO2 utilization and carbon recycling and the waste reuse and recycling can be achieved. Based on this concept, this research can contribute to the goal of carbon neutrality and circular economy. Okay, so in this research, we investigate direct aqueous carbonation of concrete fines generated from AUG recycling. Uh, to move the cement and concrete industry toward a circular economy and reduce its environmental impact, recycling of waste concrete is critical. And concrete is a mixture of hydrate cement accounting 30% and coarse and accounting 70%. After aggregate recycling uh, of waste concrete, the recycled aggregate can be recycled back to cement production. However, the generation of concrete fines as byproduct becomes problem. Adventurously, the concrete fines are almost free of aggregate contamination, which makes land promising candidate for carbonation with low energy input. So in this study, we explore the potential of concrete fine in uh, direct aqueous carbonation. In this study, we investigate three types of concrete fine. Fines A is generated from low class aggregate recycling process from demolished concrete. And fine B is generated from high class process from solidified return fresh concrete. And synthetic concrete fines are prepared to simulate actual concrete fines from aggregate recycling process without aggregate contamination. And the uh, Characterization has been done as the table and figures. The calcium content and impurities such as silicon, aluminum, and iron uh, have been confirmed. And to confirm the carbonation potential, the effective calcium here is determined by Tg and calculated. The fine A and fine B have the greater number of calcium carbonate compared with synthetic concrete fines. The reason of the difference of the concrete fines are because of the different process and different source. Uh, it is worth no noting that uh, the effective calcium in fines B as percent indicates that fine speed have good potential to be used in mineral carbonation with low energy input. Here is the main reaction step in direct aqueous carbonation of concrete fines. Uh, this reaction is based on three main, um, three main steps of reactions. First, calcium extraction. Uh, the concrete fines are dissolved by water and the calcium is extracted as calcium ion. Meanwhile, the hydroxide ion will be released. Second, CO2 dissolution. The gas state CO2 will be dissolved into aqueous phase as carbonic ice acid and become carbonate ion. At the same time, uh, the proton will be released with carbonate ion. And when the pH is higher, CO2 dissolution is favorable. Third, calcium carbonate precipitation. The dissolved calcium and carbonate iron will all react together to form precipitate calcium carbonate. And it is worth mentioning that all of the reaction is concurrent and the water can be used repeatedly. And the bottom figure is the experimental setup in this study. Uh, because of limited time, I introduced in brief, here is the result part, and we investigate direct carbonation or concrete fine in detail, and various parameters have been studied. For example, time variation of calcium concentration, 
and other impurities concentration not shown can understand the situation of calcium extraction and calcium carbonate precipitation. And the time variation of pH can evaluate the condition of calcium extraction and CO2 dissolution. And time variation of CO2 concentration can calculate the CO2 uptake and the time variation of degree of carbonation can understand the degree of we, we can realize the relationship of CO2 capture in water and in solid. And by particle size distribution analysis and TGA, we confirm the reaction mechanism are solidification and particle collision during direct aqueous carbonation. And here is the summary of this study. This is the simple flowchart of this process. The waste concrete is treated by aggregate recycling process and 70% of aggregate is recycled as recycled aggregate and 30% of hydrate cement as concrete are utilized in study. And the fluid gas level of CO2 is thus fully treated of bio direct aggregate carbonation of concrete fines. And the CO2 uptake efficiency of concrete fines is high. It proves that the concrete fines are promising candidate for developing carbonation with low energy input. And the carbonate products are characterized in detail and meet the requirement of various utilization. And the interesting future suggestions are least. The application potential of carbonated products should be developed and the process for relatively inert alkaline waste should be developed. And the detailed results can be found in below reference. At final, I would like to thank to Professor Atsushi Itsuka for his kind supervision, and any questions and comments are welcome. Please feel free to contact with me by email or directly. Thank you for your time and attention. Thanks, Sinjong, for your very nice talk. I enjoyed your talk. This is a very important topic in carbon capture and utilization. So now this talk is open to the questions from the floor. Are there questions? All right. Um, there's a, a question from the audience. Um, within the industrial applications, is there a potential of direct carbonation of concrete fines under atmospheric pressure for CO2 utilization without CO2 pressurization. Okay. Um, here, because uh, of potential. So, uh, is there uh, industrial? Is there a potential for industrial okay. application of your technology? Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, in our study. Uh, we capture CO2 by the concrete fines generated from aggregate recycling process, and the CO2 is captured as the carbonated product. And however, the carbonated product the purity in direct aqueous carbonation process is low. So we will like to develop this uh, carbonated product as the environmental purification agent. And um, actually, we have, we are studying in this research, and we want to explore the more industrial application. Uh, for example, we want to use this carbonate product to absorb the heavy metals in environmental issue, and it this can uh, increase the economy income in this total process and also can uh, extend the, uh, the potential for industrial application. Right, so if I understand you correctly, currently the application is more towards uh, applications such as water treatment rather than recycling yeah. uh, it back to be the concrete building material. Oh, yeah. Right, so um, mainly it's because, sorry, sorry, so it's because of the purity <laughs> uh, of the product after the mineral, uh, after carbonation. Uh, simply, yeah, they have two ways. The simple way is just back to uh, cement and concrete production. This is very simple and it's possible. And now we are trying to 
explore the new way is chemical recycling process. Yeah. I see. All right. Uh, we have more questions coming in. Uh, the second question is, would this CO2 carbonation affect the mechanical strength of the concrete compared with the um, original or ordinary con concretes? Uh, it is interesting question. In my in my study, and but in my study, I'm not uh, very. I I'm not study well in the strength of concrete because we use, as I say, I utilize the carbonate product that go to capture to remove the heavy metals. So I didn't study to reuse back to concrete and cement production. However, I have studied some papers and uh, some research. They indeed they increase the strength of concrete if they use the ideal percent to uh, replace the ordinary cement or ordinary concrete. Okay, thanks. Is there a problem for this technology for large scale? If yes, what are the main factors? Okay, so this is also a very uh, excellent question. In our uh, in our concept, we use this technology is basically for small and medium scale industry. Uh, they have many factors, but for me, in my opinion, the main factor might be the source. Uh, the, our source is based on the flue gas and also based on the waste. And we should consider the balance of the source, not uh, the waste. For example, in our waste is uh, concrete fines, but uh, in many seasons and many, like uh, in many seasons and many countries, the concrete is, the production is not the same and it's not uh it's not stable so and the flu gas the percent of purity and the concentration is also not stable so uh sorry so for in my understanding uh the, in our technology is not it's beneficial into the small and medium scale tech uh, industry Mm -hmm. Okay, we would like to ask one last question. Uh, how much extra energy is required for this process? Does the carbon capture offset the carbon footprint of the energy requirements of the process? Or does the technology need to be made more efficient? This is also a very important question. Uh, the energy concern is always the uh, the energy problem is always the main concern in mineral carbonation process. Uh, mineral carbonation process is uh, slow reaction speed. So in past studies, for past studies, they usually use the high and high required energy to enhance the process re uh, reaction speed to enhance the kinetic. But in my concept, we utilize the concrete fine, which is very uh, high calcium con content and without aggregate contamination. It means the calcium, most of the calcium is calcium oxide, which can be ex easily to react with CO2 to form calcium carbonate. So in my opinion, Yes, if we can use uh, a little large energy, we can uh, enhance the reaction. But if not, we still can do this process smoothly. And the carbon capture offset the carbon footprint of the energy requirement. Uh, actually, in my papers, I we have a simple calculation and we believe it can it can be thank you thank you thank you very much so with this we end this uh, talk thank you Singrong for your uh, nice talk and all the uh, best to your future work thank you very much